Hello, I'm David Chester with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week at everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, with news the way mortgage brokers are paid is under scrutiny in Australia. But first in the US, the pace of hiring rose in May, but the number of job openings actually fell, even though it is still near record levels. This data doesn't change the view that the US labour market is still in a healthy state. Across the border, Canada's new house building industry is recovering fast. New housing stocks were up more than 9% in June from May, but that recovery still left at 3% lower than for June 2016. Meanwhile, the Bank of Canada is widely expected to raise its benchmark policy rate for the first time in seven years, signalling the Canadian economy is on the path to recovery after years of tepid growth following the global slump in commodities that hit them hard. There is trepidation over the impact the move may have, even though the rise will only likely be 25 basis points to three quarters of a percent. In China, their central bank is battling an increasingly sceptical business community over the exchange rate peg it applies to daily transactions. The yuan is closing consistently at the bottom of the permitted band set by officials. Many companies are parking their foreign currency in bank accounts rather than converting them. In May, those foreign currency deposits hit $1 billion, the highest level in 15 years. It's very unusual indeed for Chinese businesses to challenge their regulator in this way. And Singapore's sovereign wealth fund is growing more cautious, signalling that risks are rising in the US and around Brexit, and it has rebalanced its portfolio to reduce its risk. It is settling in for a few years of underperformance as it protects the value of its half a trillion dollar fund, the world's eighth largest such sovereign fund. In Australia, there are calls to scrap all commissions and fees paid to mortgage brokers on the basis that they incentivise brokers to work to get their, currents, their clients deeper into debt rather than advise them of their best options. However, mortgage brokers are the dominant intermediary between customers and banks in Australia and it will be hard to wean them off the commission drug. The call is to replace commissions, both upfront and trail, with a fixed fee for service model. In New York, the US Treasury 10-year yield has slipped slightly for a second day and now 2.36%. The price of oil has risen slightly to just over $45 a barrel, while the Brent benchmark is now just on $47.50 a barrel. There are reports that Saudi Arabia is pumping more oil than it committed to OPEC when that cartel mandated output cuts. And the price of gold is holding today, up by a marginal $3 to $1,214 an ounce. But the Kiwi dollar is almost a half a cent lower at 72.3 US cents, on the cross rates were almost one cent lower at 94.7 Aussie cents and at 63.1 Euro cents. The TWI is down to 76.3. I'm David Chaston. That was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.